people come to to this state, whether they're getting flown in or they're getting bussed in, New Yorkers want to know when are they coming, who's on there, where they're coming from, where are they going. And unfortunately, with Kathy Hochul, she wasn't saying anything until she found for herself a red state boogeyman. But but I think the ultimate double standard hypocrisy test for anyone out there who is losing their minds over 50 people showing up at Martha's Vineyard, just think what it must be like to be on one of these border communities right now. All day, every day, you're getting 50 in spades coming in all day long, all day long, and you're not getting the help from the federal government. The state shouldn't be forced to deploy their own National Guard to the border because the federal government isn't doing their job. And lastly, by the way, on this issue, the last issue and everything else that we talked about in this interview, Kathy Hochul still, to this day, has not yet accepted any debate request. I was going to ask you that. So right now, zero debates from Kathy Hochul. Zero. She has accepted none. She, for, for the last several weeks, she's been talking about how there's going to be a debate. She still to this day has not yet accepted any. Oh. And by the way, in two days, absentee ballots start going out. So I, I have proposed something that is very extreme. You know, the, the Democrats, they like to, to use the title extreme with me. Here's something that is very extreme. We should let voters know where we stand on issues before they vote. Right. Very extreme. Very extreme. They are ridiculous. 